Okay guys, hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another daily vlog and welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing? So it is Sunday now, it's lunchtime and I have just been up to see my parentals because, you know, now that we live in Waverley, they're only around the corner, so it's great. I can just walk it over and walk it back, so it's great. Everyone was in good form, my sister was there and I'm just home now. Aaron has been doing a bit in the garage. He's literally taken everything out of the garage today. He's sorting through it all. Aaron's very methodical as in he likes to make sure that everything has a place and it's sitting nice and organised. So everything was just bunged into the garage when we moved and he's now basically sorting through it all. <laughs> I'll give you a look at it whenever I've finished filming this intro. But yeah, it's lunchtime on Sunday and we are going to have a bit of a pizza party out the back garden. Um, there's a few people coming over, going to do pizzas, just catch up, have a chat and sit in the, the sunshine. It gives it to be actually 17 degrees today which in Northern Ireland and the UK is hot so we're really taking advantage of it um, and we're going to spend the day in the garden as much as we can especially Novak he loves garden so yeah it's all good so today's just going to be sitting out in the sun hopefully get a bit of reading done I didn't get too far into the black house last night um, I fell asleep quite early and yeah, just woke up this morning, went to my mum's and come back down to the house. So hopefully get back into that, maybe sit outside uh, with a nice Pinot Grigio or a wee rosé, something like that. But yeah, I'll just, as always, hopefully you're not too fed up looking at my face by now. In the comments below, are you fed up looking at my face? Because this is happening the whole of May. So hopefully you enjoy these videos and you enjoy today's video and you're having a lovely Sunday. But yeah, I'll check in as and when just as normal and hopefully you have a great Sunday. I think sunshine like this calls for a wee rosé. Whoop, whoop. Okay guys, so I'm just back in the library now. It's around about, I think, just after tea time. The day has just gotten away from me. I do not know. I've been sitting out in the garden, chilling out, chatting the iron, drinking tea, <laughs> reading my book. But I just wanted to come in and quickly let you know that I'm going to change uh, books for now and um, for the rest of the evening. I am currently four chapters into The Black House and so far it's intriguing me. Um, I'm not really still sure what this one is about other than what it says on the synopsis which I read out. But it's a chunker and it seems like there's quite a lot to this. There's very, very creepy undertones, which is, I'm here for that. So it's all good. So I just wanted something a bit more sort of lighter or a reread or something, which I don't really need to concentrate too much on. Now, you may not think that this is any lighter <laughs> than what I'm reading here, but I'm going to get stuck into my reread of The Assassin's Apprentice. This is the first in the Robin Hobb elderlings series and it's the first in a, in a quite a lot of book series and it is as i say a reread for me it's quite a small one but i wanted to start it this evening because it is a read along currently in the book club and um, so we are reading one book a month until we finish the series and i'm really really excited for it so i want to get stuck into my reread i think i'm going to annotate it as well yeah, I think I'm going to annotate it and just get stuck in and then when I have my sort of book club member only um, live show I can really properly chat about it and get in depth and, and all that good stuff and I'll remember what's going on. So for now, for the next hour or two while Aaron's watching the football I'm going to get stuck into my reread for this one and I'm very hyped for it, so very very excited. So yeah, I'm really really tired today, um, I didn't sleep very well last night and I woke up really really early and I just couldn't get back over to sleep and it's just felt like a long day today and yeah just I want to cozy up with a blanket on me now in the library and just read something that I know I'm going to absolutely love and adore the second time round so yeah this was a five star first time round definitely going to be a five star second time round but yeah can't wait just yeah getting stuck in now
Okay guys, hey, it's Barbara and it is Monday. It's Monday afternoon now. I think it's around about two o'clock, maybe just before two o'clock, but I have just joined the lovely Claire on her private sprints for A Court of Thorns and Roses. I am hosting a read long in the book club, uh, one book per month until we're finished and we're kicking off with the first one, A Court of Thorn and Roses and the lovely Claire has offered to host private book club sprints for us to read the book on sprints together. So there's a few of us on there, I'm hosting it with her, um, co-host. So it's all good, yeah I'm enjoying it. Um, yesterday I was very, I was just very tired yesterday, I just wasn't really myself yesterday, I don't know what was wrong. So I've decided to combine these two days into just one vlog and then I'll continue, carry on daily vlogging after this. I've also got a bit of sun actually from yesterday. It was really really lovely weather yesterday and I've got a bit on my, my face. You can see how red my face is. But yeah this is my first time reading this one and I'm very very excited to be on the sprints and reading this for the rest of the afternoon. I won't be doing my normal Monday night reading sprints at seven just because I'm obviously on the sprints until five but I will be still reading later on have nothing really planned uh, back to work tomorrow birthday week this week yes it's happening on Sunday so I'm away with the girls on Friday and I'm not off until Friday so I'm working Tuesday Wednesday Thursday away and then back to work on Monday so yeah I'll just be taking you all with me and it's gonna be great just have a grand old time so for today I'm gonna go and get myself a cup of tea before this next sprint ends and probably some snacks and just cuddle up and read A Court of Thorn and Roses for the rest of the afternoon. Okay guys, so I thought it was about time I came in to update the vlog. I have been steadily reading this one. I am currently on page 70 something. Yeah, 74, chapter 8. So yeah, I'm actually really enjoying it. I was chatting to Claire on the last chatty bit of the sprint there and I was chatting to her about Tamlin who's our main character who is the sort of fae that takes our main character um, who I absolutely love. I love the side characters in her family, I love her dad, I love her sisters Nessa and a few others and yeah it's just interesting to see why this particular fae Tamlin has decided to take her to his world and where he lives his town and lets is letting her freely live there and um, basically the rest of her life instead of killing her because you know she did kill one of the fae as well and you know at the start of the book because she was scavenging for her family they have nothing they are poverty stricken they've no money and she was in the woods basically hunting for her next meal, her next family's meal and you know an animal that she could sell at the time market the next day and yeah he's decided instead of killing her which is normally the treaty that he would offer to let her live in his world and his town and see out her days there and yeah it's just interesting to see I like Tamlin I think he's coming across really well I don't think he's as bad as he's being maybe portrayed he is and yeah it's it's good the as always Sarah J Mass's writing style is so easy to read it's so easy to follow along with you love the characters her character development is absolutely fantastic in all of her series and her books and yeah I feel like I'm back with Sarah J Mass again and I'm having a brilliant time so yeah I'm so glad I decided to pick this one up as the read along for the book club so if you're not already involved with the book club it's free to join in May we are doing loads of read longs loads of series read longs and buddy reads reading sprints and the members are also getting involved where Claire is a lovely member of the book club and she's hosting sprints today for everyone to read Akatar and yeah it's just really it's a really really good small community of lovely lovely like-minded bookworms and it's fab I love it so the discord is always the link is always dropped down below and it's free to join in May because we're celebrating my 40th birthday this week so I've decided to give a free month in May to every Everybody. and yeah it's just going really really well so I've seven minutes left of this sprint I'm hoping there's going to be a couple more sprints before Claire signs off at five and yeah I'll let you know how I'm getting on as and when the sprints are finished but for now it's all good
Okay guys, so I just wanted to come in and wrap up today's vlog. Um, as I say, this is going to be... Hold on, I'll set you down. This is going to be for Saturday and Sunday. Today's obviously Sunday, but Saturday and Sunday because I wasn't feeling my best yesterday and didn't really vlog too much. So let's talk about what I read today. I'm really, really pleased that we did the Akatar sprints because it meant that I finally got to start this absolute beauty. So... Here's where I am. I am currently on page 137 of this one. I'm going to carry this in to next week and hopefully have it read in the next couple of days because why not? I am so excited to continue on with this one. I've taken the dust jacket off but it's over there. But yes, really, really excited for this one. Hyped for it. Loving being back in Sarah J Mass's writing and her world. So that's good. I also got a wee bit of ways into this one as well. I'm currently 53 pages in so I'm going to be continuing this in the next few days also. So two fantasies on the go. Tomorrow morning when I get myself situated for work, back to work tomorrow, working from home all week, off on Friday, away for a couple of days with the girls birthday Sunday back to work Monday finishing my job next week or next the following week the following Friday starting a new job the Monday after then it'll be payday and then it'll be June so it's very very yeah the, the weeks are flying by in 2023 I cannot tell you so yes tomorrow morning I want to sit down in tomorrow's daily vlog and actually talk to you about what my TBR for this week is because I do have a TBR Rebecca's currently away on holiday for a week so we do have some buddy reads going and and things to read there as well also body reading with the lovely holly and claire over on the discord we're reading tj clune's new one in the lives of puppets so i'll talk about that tomorrow as well and have a few libby and audiobooks on the go so we will chat about those tomorrow because i'm just going to come in and wrap this up and say good night and cheerio gonna sit out and have some ice cream with Aaron in the garden and yeah i will chat to you tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog hopefully you enjoyed this i haven't been feeling my very best all week end so I'm sorry if this is a bit flat and it's not as enthusiastic as I normally am but hopefully tomorrow I'll wake up brand new birthday week see how we go yeah and yeah if you like this please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel the discord link is always below for my brand new book club it's free to join in May it's not too late to join come on over chat to us see what you think and make some new friends and yeah chat to you tomorrow